If you want to learn more about the new In Colors from Stampin' Up, keep watching to get the skinny on Flirty Flamingo. Hi, this is Sage Kimball and I'm the Mad Stamper with another color tip video for card makers and paper crafters. Flirty Flamingo is a really bright pink. It doesn't have as much white in it as the more pastel pinks that we're used to in the palette. It's very close to the old Cameo Coral, which retired in 2013. Cameo Coral is a little darker and maybe has a bit more orange in it. If you're curious to discover more about the color schemes I keep referring to, you'll learn that and more in Use Colors Like a Pro, Color Theory Made Simple for Paper Crafters. Use the link provided to check out the details. Flirty Flamingo combines easily with all the reds and pinks. Flamingo is bright enough to create contrast with the pastels or combine it with Melon Mambo for a combination that pops. Purples are analogous to Flamingo and combine very harmoniously. Use any of these purples depending on the amount of contrast you need. Blues are close enough to analogous to combine compatibly. Choose any of these depending on how much contrast or muddiness you want in a design. I'm drawn to the high contrast of the bright Bermuda Bay, but realistically, I'm much more likely to combine it with dapper denim. But you have lots of choices in the blues. Flamingo and green are opposite on the wheel, or they're complementary. I prefer the bluer greens, for a cooler effect, but you might like the warmer yellow greens. Use Cucumber Crush or Emerald Envy if you want a bright, high contrast color. Oranges are in the analogous range and any of them will create harmonious combinations. Watermelon Wonder is especially nice as it looks like a darker version of Flamingo with enough contrast to be interesting. I always waver with Watermelon Wonder on whether to put it in the pinks or the coral oranges. And as you can see, it sort of sits between Flirty Flamingo and Calypso Coral. So it, it could be in either category. Most of the neutrals combine well, especially the grays and black and the rosy browns. Soft suede looks pretty yellow and dull again, so be careful of that effect. For my sample card, I used an analogous color scheme with Sweet Sugar Plum, Flirty Flamingo, and Rich Razzleberry. But as I was putting this card together, I sort of got into pink overwhelm. So I added the garden green to tone it down a little to give some contrast. Sweet Sugar Plum is next, so use that link for the final 2016 in color video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment. For more inspiration and instructions, be sure to sign up for my newsletter at www.stampingmadly.com. And don't miss another great video. Subscribe to the Mad Stamper YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button now.